We also learned addition this week. And what are the things that we already know about addition? We learned that addition is putting all the numbers together by counting the groups of objects and we try to answer the question, how many in all? Like this. In this picture, we have two sets and we are going to count them all together. On this side, we have one unicorn. On this box, we have three unicorns. And how many are there in all? We have one, two, three, four. We have four unicorns in all. How about you? Can you count and answer this one? How many bears do we have in all? Do you remember this? Let's try this again. In this picture, there are how many girls and how many boys? There are three girls and one boy. Three and one is how many and all? How many children are there in the picture? There are four children in all. Three and one is four. In numeracy, three and one is four is written as this. This is called a number sentence. In the number sentence, we use this sign. Do you remember what this one is called? We call it the plus sign. Or simply we say plus. Plus 3 plus 1. And this is called the equal sign or equals. Equals tells us how many in all. This number sentence will be read as 3 plus 1 plus 1 equals 4. 3 plus 1 equals 4. This is how we are going to write number sentence from picture addition. You can see that we have two sets of cars, the brown and the red one. Let's count how many brown cars we have. 4. We have 4 brown cars. Now, how many red cars do we have? We have three. How are we going to write it into a number sentence? We are going to write the plus sign and the equal sign. It would be like this. Four plus three equals how many cars do we have in all? Let's count. Four plus three equals seven. We have seven cars in all. Now you try it. How many unicorns do you see? We have can you count the purple unicorns? Correct. We have three purple unicorns. How about the rainbow unicorns? We have three rainbow unicorns. Three plus three equals how many unicorns in all? Count them all together now. 
Correct. We have six unicorns in all. How about this one? Can you count how many police cars we have? We have four plus four equals eight. This is how we write the number sentence from this picture addition. Well done! Now, let's practice some more. Look carefully. Now, there are no pictures. Only numbers. How are we going to add them? We have 1 plus 1 equals what? We can use many different ways to find the answer. We can use number lines, shapes, counting objects, or even counting our fingers. On this example, we are going to use 10 frames. Our number sentence says 1 plus 1. So, in our 10 frames, we are going to put a dot on each frame. We have one dot for each number. 1 and 1. Now, how many dots do we have in all? We have two dots. Then, one plus one is equals to two. Our number sentence is complete. One plus one equals two. Let's try it again. We have three plus one. So in our 10 frames, we are going to make 3 dots. 1, 2, 3. On the other frame, we only have 1 dot. How many yellow dots in all? 1, 2, 3, 4. We have 4 dots in all. So, we can say that 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. 3 plus 1 equals 4. Let's do it one more time. 5 plus 0 equals... Now, we have 5. Let's make 5 dots. Count! On the other frame, we have zero. Are we going to put a dot on this frame? No, because zero is nothing. So we are not going to write anything on our number frame. Now, how many dots in all do we have? How many dots do we have in all? One, two, three, Four, five. So we can say that five plus zero equals five. Five plus zero equals five. Can you solve this on your own? We have number correct, number two. How about the other one? What is the number? Good job! It's 4. Can you say the number sentence? Yes. 2 plus 4 equals. How many dots are we going to put on our number frame? We put... Correct. We are going to put... 2. And how many dots are we going to put on the other number frame? Yes, we are going to put 4. Now, how many do we have in all? Can you count them? Yes. 
Good. Counting. Now complete the number sentence. Very good. It's 2 plus 4 equals 6. Say it with me. 2 plus 4 equals 6. Good job. You did it. Now you are ready to take on this challenge. You are a 